I do. <laughs> Go mama? Go mm. mama? Mm. Go rocks in your hand? Mm. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Be good. Mm. Does the wild drone attack? Will you defend yourself? Will you use your guns? Son, we can't shoot the wild downy. They're not ready for heaven. We are. He would make flights as often as he could, try to find one of their small villages. Emergency, over. You bueno, you bueno. This is Shell. What's wrong, Rachel? Over. Kimo and Dala have returned with the Enomanani. All of them. They have polio. They're dying. Over. Roger. You'll have to quarantine the village, Rachel. How are you bearing up, Rachel? The monkeys and wild boars seem to have abandoned this part of the jungle. Thanks for the drop. Over. all the medicine we have in Shell. We're bringing more down from Quito. And we need more advice on how to keep them breathing. M maybe you could talk to Dr. Wally? I did. You just gotta keep them moving on those teeter-totters. But their lungs are still filling. We'll keep you in food and medicine until the quarantine is lifted.
After eight weeks, the quarantine was lifted. My mother and sister and I could finally go home. The teeter-totters had stopped, and with them, the endless cycle of revenge. The Wadani had found a reason to live differently. And in the end, that seemed to be what so many of them were waiting for. After I left Minkayani, I started a new life that would take me to the United States. It's true that my dad and his four friends were not given the privilege of watching their children and grandchildren grow up. But Minkayani is a grandfather. It's the first time in Wadani history they've ever had so many grandfathers. He's not only a grandfather to his own children, he's a grandfather to mine. My dad would have liked that. Through the years, people could always identify with our loss, but they could never imagine the way that we would experience gain.